welcome back happy Saturday so today's video I am going to share with you guys a couple of the products that I picked up from some of the matte collections that have come out in the last couple of months I believe um, so yeah they're like my latest uh, Mac buys I did not purchase every single thing from the collections that came out so I just wanted to let you guys know on that but I did purchase a couple of the lipsticks and a couple of their powders and also I wanted to let you guys know that I, at the end kind of towards the end of the video um, stay tuned for a couple of um, extra um, I guess lipsticks that I purchased from a totally different company um, but I just wanted to put it in here so I can share with you guys those lipsticks because I really really love them they are so gorgeous so I had to throw them in this video um, anywho let's get started all right the first product that I purchased from uh, one of the MAC collections is uh, the MAC Toledo collection, which is this gorgeous packaging. And this is how the little bullet looks. I just thought it was so adorable. This is the only product I picked up from the MAC Toledo collection because, to be honest with you guys, I didn't really care for anything else. I just really love this packaging. Some people want to have every single thing from the uh, from the collection and you know what that is great but financially it is very expensive so I always break it down to what I really really love what I really want and if I'm really gonna use it or if I'm just gonna buy it for the packaging and just keep it in a drawer so it really does come down to that guys and that is the reason why I only picked up this lipstick and this lipstick is called ox blood and it is a matte finish I do have a side-to-side -side swatch of this lipstick um, on my Instagram and here it is it's so gorgeous it is very very similar to kind of sexy from Mac um, like I said I do have a side-to-side -side swatch on my Instagram if you guys want to head over and check it out they are very similar just one is a little bit more peachier than the other one but if you guys did not get your hands on this one don't worry about it get uh, kind of sexy and you are pretty much it's pretty much the same thing so anyways that is ox blood and as you guys can see I have all these swatches all over my hand because I have been testing a lot of um, lipsticks that uh, or I should say I should I've been playing with a lot of my lipstick collection so uh, yeah this is ox blood and that is why I have all these swatches I try to remove it with makeup remover but I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and start making this video because if not, I'm never going to get finished. Okay, next nice. lipstick is from the Cinderella collection and I picked up two things from the Cinderella collection. Pretty much the packaging is just so adorable, so cute, so girly that I was only going to pick up one thing, um, which was this lipstick, but I picked up another. So this one is... Um, luster and it's called royal ball and it just comes in this really really gorgeous uh iridescent uh baby blue packaging with the gold trimming so really gorgeous this is the bullet it is really really cute i honestly love this packaging so much you guys have followed me here on my channel for a while you guys know that lusters are like a no for me but i picked it up because of the packaging and because i know i will be wearing this um this lipstick eventually it's really not going to give you a lot of uh, uh, color payoff which is fine I mean it, it's it's okay this one right here is royal ball um, it's not that bad you get a you you get to see like a tint of pink in there so not too not too bad you know but um, I just picked it up because it is it's really pretty and another product I picked up from the uh, from the Cinderella collection would have to be this um, iridescent uh, powder called Coupe de Chic and all I can tell you guys is I'm not very happy with this it swatches terribly and even with a, a brush it just doesn't really transfer the way that it should transfer I mean you can kind of see like kind of like a rose gold sheen to it but it really doesn't transfer and there's really no point of me showing you guys a swatch because you won't even be able to see it at all so definitely not happy with this product it really really sucked um but that's just me being honest um so i really don't care for it i really love the packaging so that's why i picked it up but whatever i'm so over that powder i didn't even care for it after i got it on to some other products from um, MAC, uh, the 
hopefully I'm saying it right. It is called the Bao Bao One uh, collection from MAC, the latest one that came out. I picked up three lipsticks. I really love the packaging. It has this really nice bronze uh, shade to it, uh, like brown bronze, I guess you can say. I don't know, but it's really, really gorgeous. I uh, picked up three of them. One of the first ones I picked up is called Lavender Jade. It is a matte finish. All these three are matte finishes, by the way. This is what I'm wearing on my lips today, and I actually have a combo recipe for this and that's actually what I'm wearing so I just wanted to let, give you guys a heads up I'm wearing lavender jade with um, OCC lip liner in uh, hoochie so let me swatch this for you guys um, this is lavender jade and here it is very very gorgeous I seriously loved it when I saw it in a swatch I was like that has to be mine so I swatch I mean actually I put it on with uh, hoochie on my lips today and that's hoochie right here and lavender jade so i think it is the perfect uh combo next one it is forbidden sunrise and it, like i said it's also a matte finish and it is just a beautiful orangey um lipstick shade so i just honestly love this for the spring and summertime it is gonna be gorgeous and like i said it's a matte finish and it looks pretty like a like a really nice dull orange where i really can't wear to put this on my lips last one from that collection is called burmese kiss and this is, um, I guess this is more like a, I guess you can say more on the coral side. And it is right there. So another gorgeous uh, shade um, that I'm so glad I picked up. There was a fourth um, lipstick that I didn't pick up from them. But if I'm not mistaken, I think it was a luster. Don't quote me. I'll, um, I'll check it out like if it was a luster. But I think it was. Moving on to the same collection, um, I picked up the... Summer Opal Beauty Powder. This one right here, I can tell you guys that I am very, very excited about. I am glad I picked it up because it is gorgeous. This one is so easy to swatch. It's very powdery. It's not like the Cinderella one when you can't, you can't even, um, it, it won't even transfer on your finger as well as this one does. So this one is called Summer Opal. And like you see, it's right here. I have another shade down below, lipstick shade. Let me see if I can sh swatch it somewhere else. But honestly, guys, it doesn't really matter because you guys can see it more than the Cinderella one. Um, it's very hard to see, but I am wearing it on my um, cheekbones. So it just looks gorgeous. I really love it. So this one's definitely a must-have. Obviously, I don't know if they still have it online. I highly doubt it, but it is gorgeous so I'm really glad I picked that one up okay so the other next three lipsticks that I am going to talk to you guys about and swatch for you are three lipsticks that recently came out um, well not recently a couple of months back and I hadn't shown you guys because I had not done a MAC lipstick swatch in a while but the first one that I picked up was from the nasty gal collection and it's called stunner and it is a matte finish and I just really had to have this one because it is so gorgeous. As you guys can see, I, you guys can see why I picked it up. There was a couple of other ones, but for my taste, I preferred Stunner over the other ones. The next one is called Toxic Tail. It's a satin finish. And I believe this one had come out in the Villains collection. Um, I'm pretty sure it came out with the Villains collection. Uh, but this is Toxic Tail, and it is really gorgeous. I really wanted it um, with the Villains collection, but I wasn't able to get my hands on it. And when they re-promoted it, I said, you know, it's not special packaging, but it's beautiful. I wanted it. So there it is. That's Toxic Tail. Um, the last one is from the Miley Cyrus uh, Viva Glam. And um, I'm pretty sure they have this online still, but it's just this beautiful hot pink uh, shade she came out with I just really really thought it was gorgeous and I had to pick it up and also because a lot of the the proceeds uh, the proceeds go to uh, charity so that's why I always pick up one or two Viva Glam lipsticks um, I picked up the Rihanna as well and I gave one away on my Instagram last year so I really like doing that um, picking this up just because it goes to charity um, some of the money goes to charity so that's really really nice of Mac to do that and the shade is beautiful like I said it's a beautiful hot pink and I really loved it I should have worn this today but I just couldn't keep my hands off of um, lavender jade so had to wear 
lavender and jade. And I have four lipsticks that are definitely not MAC uh, collection. They are from Gerard Cosmetics. And I picked up four of their recent lipsticks. I picked up four of them. Um, I will see if they still have a coupon code for them because I think these four were $39. And I think they have free shipping worldwide. So if I can find that... Um, Coupon code, and if it's still active, I will list it down below if you guys are interested in the lipsticks because they are freaking gorgeous. Um, the first one is called Tequila Sunrise, and there it is. It's just a beautiful shade. I just, I couldn't get my hand, keep my hands off of this one because it's just gorgeous. And it seems like to me, like it's like a matte finish. I, I, that's what it seems to me because it looks very, um, very dull. That's Tequila Sunrise. The next one is actually called Nude. And these two, the Tequila Sunrise and Nude, have been in their permanent um, line. All of these I'm pretty sure are going to be permanent, but from their uh, line that they started with, um, with lipstick line, if I make any sense. Uh, so this is Nude. I guess this is one of their top sellers. And um, I've always wanted it. I just never got my hands on it. Uh, but finally with this... Uh, promotion they were having on I decided to pick up nude okay, the next two lipsticks are the recent lipsticks that came out uh, the first one is called Rodeo Drive and it is this freaking gorgeous mauve shade that when I saw it I was like that's gonna be my lipstick I have to have it so I know I'm such a freaking lipstick whore right um, but anyways here is um, Rodeo Drive so see it's a beautiful um, mauve shade with a hint of pink, I guess, in there. I don't know how to describe it, it's just gorgeous. The last one is called Kimchi Doll. And I just love that name, Kimchi Doll. It just sounds so cute. Anywho, this was created by uh, a YouTuber here, obviously here on YouTube. Uh, her name is Sophia Chang, and she created this with Gerard Cosmetics. Beautiful peachy uh, nude color. Really loved it when I saw it um, on her channel. And I was like, okay, that is a beautiful peachy pink. Uh, I'm sorry, peachy nude color. So I was like, hey, I'm going to check it out. So this lipstick comes with her signature. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. I know that um, it is very limited. Uh, they have very limited tubes with her signature. Um, they will still have the lipstick. Um, they, they will still sell it. It will just will not have... Um, her signature. So I'm pretty sure this is very limited. So this is Kimchi Doll. And like I said, it's a very peachy nude and I would just tell you guys something I would never wear this by itself because it will definitely wash me out but I will definitely be wearing this with a lip liner I have a couple of MAC lip liners that I'm kind of thinking of trying it out with I might try it out with a uh, MAC Soar or Boldly Bare um, might try that those lip liners with this lipstick so yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Those are the four lipsticks from Gerard Cosmetics and all the other MAC stuff that I want to share with you guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you guys thumbs it up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!